Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Suhei with Suhei Plans and today I'm chatting with you a little bit about my B6 planner haul for 2024. There are some items here that I've previously owned, currently owned, and I kind of just want to take you through how I'm exploring the B6 planner size. I have a Sterling Ink B6 bundle here, a Paper Tess yearly notebook in B6, as well as some other B6 products I've already started using. And then on this side, I've got some B6 covers, and I want to try on some of the B6, these covers on some of these B6 planners. So I've got a lot of B6 planner joy to share with you today. Um, let's begin with the planners and then we'll kind of squeeze them into, fit them into covers as we go. So I picked up the Sterling Ink B6 bundle on the Buy Sell Trade group on Facebook. And I have already opened this. And, you know, I think BST groups are great, but you're still working with complete strangers, to be honest. So definitely something that I needed to open and check. And everything is as it should be here. I'm happy to report. And what you've got is a B6, what I've got is a B6 part one and part two bundle in onyx with the gold edging. And I'm planning on using these planners for social media. Um, I've also got a B6 Stalogy in the full year that I use as my journal and that I'm anticipating continuing to use as my journal in the new year. I've also got a Wonderland 222 2023 planner in their B6, which is a different B6 than Astology, slightly smaller. Uh, but I thought I would include that in just in here for some comparisons as well. And while we're here, I'm going to do a true unboxing of my Paper Test Designs B6 Yearly Notebook. So this comes all the way from Germany, and I just have to say, this box looks pristine considering what a long journey it's been on to get to me here in Arizona in the United States. I've definitely had some local packages that have looked worse for wear compared to how pristine this box looks. So let's just jump right in. All right. So I know that some folks are starting to get their paper tests now. There haven't been a ton of reviews out there, but the few that I have that are out there, believe me, I have watched. And I have been very excited to get into this planner. So what am I using this planner for? I am I picked up the I picked up this planner as a and this is gonna be a little bit complicated to explain quite frankly but I'm gonna use and this is not the right way to open this box wow okay let me try to do better y'all I'm trying to be sensitive to sound but I don't think that's gonna be possible I'd also like not to break a nail but again if I do on camera all right okay I think I can avoid breaking a nail we'll see how the rest of this goes um so I picked up this B6 planner because B6 is a bit of a rare unicorn. There aren't a ton that are out there. Um, and I really wanted to explore this size in 2024. I can't say that I have a specific purpose for it, but it is something that I want to explore. All right. So I love that embossing in the gold in the rose gold foiling. It's really pretty. Paper test sticker with this tissue, super nice. No way to not rip the tissue, y'all. It's just part of the process. All right. This pink fluff is cute. And you know, there's not a ton of it in here. And yeah, I think it it's looking like it's arrived in really, really good condition. Perfect. This adorable thank you card. Very nice texture. All right, I'll put this to the side. Let me clean up some of this goodness. 
Packaging, I don't know. I used to think packaging was not a big deal until I, I joined the planner community. And now I very much appreciate the experience some nice packaging provides. All right, so this is chapter 24, the yearly notebook. It's a B6 full year planner. And what interest, and this is in the sage color. All right. Oh, lovely. Oh, that is such a nice little book. Very, very soft cover. Feels very sturdy, really beautiful and really soft. And I really do like that color. I have a lot of natural light coming into the room. So you can really see how gorgeous that sage color is. Oh, and there is the binding. Oh, the binding is really, really beautiful. That is really, really nice. And I'm sure everyone is curious about a comparison with the Sterling Ink B6. So this one, this cover is the Onyx and it has a little bit more texture, but it's still really, really soft. But definitely I would say that the Sterling Ink has a more textured cover than the paper tests and this year paper tests did not go with the gold with the um gold foiled edges which i think the community was really sad about but i think that the inside of this planner was still quite worth considering despite that not being an option this year uh let's see if i can let me zoom in a little bit and try to compare covers here All right, so that cover feels pretty good. But I will say that I do think the Sterling Ink cover is thicker. I think it's a thicker cover. Yeah. And I do something I do appreciate also about the gold the Sterling Ink is that even the cover is has gold foiling. Small detail, but I think that's important. All right. So yeah, I do think that the Sterling Ink has a bit of a thicker cover this year it just folds a little bit easier the paper test folds a little bit easier so which is how you can tell it's a little bit thinner i wasn't planning on going through the paper test today i can link below a couple of review videos on a cover to cover layout what i really wanted to do today was focus on all the b6s that i have here including Wonderland and Astology, and just do some kind of comparisons with the covers. Um, and one reason, again, that I picked up the paper test is because it has a, it kind of, the insides work consecutively. So you have your month, Blank page spread, blank two page spreads, four weeks. I'm sorry, week, full week, and then seven blank pages, and so on and so forth. Versus the Sterling Ink that has the months all at once, the weeks all at once, and then your blank daily pages all together in one uh, in one section versus the paper tests where you get that kind of throughout the book and not sectioned off consecutively hope i've explained that well yeah so there's a week in february and then you get one two three four five six seven blank pages and then you get the next week and so on and so forth Ooh, I do think that this, okay, this is becoming a Sterling Ink paper test comparison a little bit. I can't help it, y'all. Uh, there is definitely differences in the font. I think they're equally beautiful, honestly, but there is a little bit of swag to the paper test font that I really do think is pretty. I definitely prefer the font in the paper test. Let's look for a monthly spread for a fair comparison. Okay, let's go to January. 
I think I've heard a few other YouTubers um, label the paper test font as romantic, and I would completely agree. I certainly do prefer the font in the paper tests. It's really pretty. All right. You can kind of see that. And I do think that the outline and the grid are both just slightly darker in the paper tests. Very slight. And I think I would need a ruler, but just from an no, I can't say. Part of me feels like the paper test boxes are just slightly bigger as well. The paper test grid is slightly bigger as well. Yeah. Yeah, so there are some differences here between the two, and I was really interested in both. Uh, I would I want to use the sterling ink for social media and I'm actually going to do an entire YouTube video on what I plan to do with the paper test exclusively and maybe at that point I'll also do a, a page by page flip through if that would be of help but this is really pretty the paper feels beautiful I love the font that has exceeded my expectations how beautiful that font is it's just really nice to look at oh little blemish there on the page not a big deal all right so let's take a look at some covers here for all of these different kind of b6 books i'm going to move part two out of the way all right so I've got here an Eternal Leather Goods B6 cover. Uh, just like a kind of like a traveler's notebook folio style. I have two hand stitched leather tea covers. One in now this was both of these are actually buy sell trades. Um, and this is black, but I'm not quite sure what color this leather is, but it is gorgeous. It's so soft. It's it's been uh, there's it's been loved but gently and it is just stunning and the feel is amazing black is much newer crisper feeling a little chicer uh and really th this was buy sell trade but also new actually this one had been used and then i've got a moterm b6 cover in the burnt orange yeah, I didn't love the look of this planner cover. I don't know. I think I have an A6 in the veg tan, and now I just need all things veg tan. So I'm not sure if I'm holding on to this, but I did want to include it in the video today. So let's start with the paper test because that's the thickest book. And honestly, the one that I'm most interested in seeing how it fits in other planners. Let's start with the hand stitched leather tees. Yeah. All right. So, this is a folio style. Now, this leather is uh, beautifully worn, so it should fit no problem. I don't think any of them will have a tight fit, but. All right. Okay. Ooh. That is a nice fit. And I think something that catches my eye, sorry, let me try to organize here a bit. Something that really catches my eye too about Sage is just how beautiful it looks with natural covers. Ooh, okay. Let's squeeze that in a little bit more, all the way to the edge. Okay, so you definitely have to squeeze it in. It's a big, it's a big planner. It's a big planner. It's a big planner, but that fits. That fits. Okay, let's put the strap on it. Yeah, that fits well. I am not intending to fill this up with stickers or washi or any of that. So I want, you know, but I still know that there will be some, like it will get fuller over time, but that's a pretty good fit. Um, although if you do notice, like the cover, it just kind of so ever so slightly you you might even say that it's just slightly too big for the cover 
because you can tell that this overhang is a little bit shorter than the back and that's probably because it's so thick but it's still it's not a terrible fit now i do want to try this same book in the hand stitched leather tee in the black because it's newer hasn't had that time to stretch and part of me is thinking that maybe the best fit is going to be in the moterm because moterms are always the roomiest of covers um but that's i guess the point right of doing all of this exploration again no problem coming in now this hand stitched leather tee has a pen loop so it might not like i might not get it at like all the way to the edge this feels like a snugger fit and i still love how that looks with black as well that's no problem and i think we have a very similar fit yeah, you just see that there's slightly less overhang here than with the back. And that's, again, because it's such a big book. But it's not a bad fit. Not a terrible fit as well. And I probably, and honestly, I feel exactly the same about the fit in the black versus the fit in the tan. Let me know if you have a preference. Um, what looks better to you? Did the tan look better? Did the black look better? Yeah. All right. The one thing I will say is that the hand stitch leather tee covers give me the sleekest profile. Uh, I know the Moterm will just be a much bigger profile, but we're gonna leave the Moterm for last. So the Eternal Leather Goods cover, now this Eternal Leather Goods is meant for a Stalogy. And I think that that's something to keep in mind if you're thinking about ordering that cover. Um, because what I have noticed, and I noticed this with the Eternal Leather, I'm sorry, with the Sterling Ink, is that Astology is just slightly narrower. I'm hoping that com is coming off on camera well. Oh no, that's, well actually, okay, maybe I take that back. Okay, Astology, the Astology and the paper chest designs are a really good equivalent to each other in size i think maybe this has a little bit more corner let's see if i can yeah okay right like the paper chest designs they chopped off less of that corner but otherwise there's that other corner otherwise it's really 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 compatible so if you're thinking about covers using a stalogy is a good might be a good comparison so then this cover was meant for a Stalogy, but a 365. And I will say that the paper test definitely has more pages than the 365. For sure. Okay. I feel like it is, is it the same? Oh, it's so hard. Maybe there's a little bit of a, I don't know. No, it feels the same. I think it's just those corners. Sorry. All right. So let's see how this fits in a cover meant for a 365 Stalogy B6. Right. And this is their cover in the natural. Okay. I feel like I couldn't get this all the way to the edge. Okay, not as much the edge as the hand stitch leather tees. There's just more edge on the side. I do like that combination. It's pretty. Okay. Ooh, interesting. And so with this book, you get even less overhang, right? Mm, I would say that this is not a fit. This is not a fit. Yeah, I just don't think this cover was designed for such a thick book. So this is not a great fit. I mean, it is, it does fit. It does fit, right? But I don't know if it would be my preference. Yeah, that's even less of a fit. Okay, all right. Okay, let's, okay, this is our last B6 cover to try with the paper test designs. This is a Moterm B6, pretty standard in the burnt orange. I have no doubts that this is going to fit and fit well. Okay. Okay. Yep. 
plenty of space in the strap. Let's put it in the first strap. It's a tighter strap. Yeah. All right. It's so interesting how I feel like with every book, the overhang on the front cover is just shorter than the back. But that just is a testament to the thickness of the book, I think. Um, and there is still some space for it to get chunky here. But I don't know. I don't know if I like any of these covers because I, I think that the mismatch overhang does kind of bother me a little bit. But it does fit, right? It does fit. So then that is the Moturn B6. I don't really know if I love any of the covers. Um, I know I, I think I do prefer the Moturn's fit, but the overhang and how that overhang the oh, the differences in its overhang is a little bit odd like odd to me so it's something for me to think about yeah it's just the thickness of the book let's so let me compare how the mo term fits so here's how the mo term fits with the b6 pepper test check out the sterling ink that for sure is not going to have those differences in the overhang. So this is, I believe, 270 pages. So it's even thinner than Astology. Okay. Okay, fits in really well. Definitely. You're getting the same. You see that? You're getting the same overhang with the cover and the back cover on the book. Right, there's no, the thickness of the paper test kind of pushes it back like this, but that is not going to be the case with a thinner book like the um, Sterling Ink. And let me show you also the uh, Stalogy B6, because I, I guess that would be in the middle, right? So let me show you like this. Right here you have Sterling Ink, 270, Stalogy with 365, and then the paper tests with, I believe it's 500 or so pages, right? So let's see the Stalogy, which is kind of in the middle in its thickness. Okay. Okay, yeah. Nicely accommodates, and there's a lot less of a difference in the overhang here. Okay. Yeah, so then I guess I need to kind of keep thinking about what might be the best fit for this cover. In the interim, until I find something that I really like, I think this is going to be the winner. I think because it ha it's been, it's like, it's the oldest and most used leather cover here that it just has the best fit. And maybe with more time, the Moterm will you know, fit better. Uh, but in all honesty, I'm looking for this. See that overhang and the differences. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'll use any of these covers. Maybe, maybe I'll just have it kind of riding dirty, so to speak, until um, I can find something that works. Yeah, so this is something definitely to consider when you're thinking about B6s and covers. Uh, let me also compare the Sterling Ink. Let me put the Sterling Ink in a few other covers. I tried it in the mold term. Here's how it fits in the Eternal, I'm sorry, in the Hand Stitch Leather Tee. In the Natural, I don't know what color this is. Um, that's a really nice fit. See that? Just beautiful, flush. You know, and that's something to consider with the Sterling Inks version of the full year and the and the half year or the compact, right? Is that they're going to fit in covers very differently. That feels okay. It, do, it doesn't have that hanging issue that I don't like. Um, but I think I'm going to prefer this cover in the black because it has the sleekest snuggest feel because it's a newer leather yeah 
Yeah, that just feels nice. And I do like the combinations of the black. I don't know. Tell me what you think about this combo as well. Or if, again, you might have preferred this tan color. Okay. Let's try the Sterling Ink. So again, because it's compact, I'm getting a lot more favorable fits. Let's try it in the uh, Stalogy. But before I do, let's compare this to a Stalogy. So when I was when I was opening it, I it felt bigger to me than my Stalogy, and I think that it is. So it is just so slightly taller. Hold on, let's see if I can. Okay. It is just so slightly taller. And. Okay, it doesn't look like it's any wider. But it is just slightly taller. So that is going to impact how it fits in a cover meant for Salogy, right? Let's take a look. Oh, and then again, the Salogy takes off more of the corner. All right. I think it's going to fit, I don't know, because it's also slimmer. So let's see. It's slimmer than the Salogy. Oh, not as easy to push in. That was a little bit more of a fight. Not a big fight, but still more of a fight. Oh, and that does not fit. Interesting. So that height difference really made a difference in how I was able to fit the cover and maybe also having the pen loop made a difference as well. So noted, not every cover, so like, again, you know, not every cover is meant for every planner, even if they're both considered the same sizes. Some things will fit better than others. Uh, I would love, I'm very interested to see how like a more worn and loved Moterm would accommodate the paper tests. I think that could have changed my mind on how I felt about the Moterm. I don't know. Um, so this is, these are all of, these are all of the B6 planners and covers that I have. I think I'm kind of at square one still with what I want to use <laughs> to cover, I'm sorry, with what I want to use to cover my B, um, my paper test designs. I didn't love anything in this pile. So we'll see how I plan to make that work. So I hope this video kind of helps you see some differences between the, and then, oh, really quickly, sorry, before we wrap up, uh, Wonderland 222 uses completely different B6 conventions. So it is um, less wide and less tall than Sterling Ink, Paper Test Designs, and Astology. One thing I will say is that I believe that this planner fit the best in a Stalogy cover. Probably because it's a little bit smaller in profile. Like the paper test is just slightly, is thicker than the Stalogy. And then the Sterling ink is just slightly taller than the Stalogy. So something to keep in mind. All right. So I hope that this was kind of helpful in thinking about B6 planners, how they fit notebooks, and how they fit in different covers. Um, you can imagine that all of these plant covers will be too big for the B6, but if I had to recommend something that's currently available, go with uh, covers that fit Stalogy for Wonderland 222 B6s. It won't be a perfect fit, but it'll be a lot snugger than some of the other B6 covers that are out there. So stay tuned for some more videos on all of these. I want to explore, I want to share an exclusive, like a video just on how I plan to use the B6. 
uh, paper test and I think I'll do a more deeper dive through as well so stay tuned for that and thanks so much for watching if you found anything helpful here please don't hesitate um, to give this video a like or subscribe if you'd be so kind thank you so much and I'm so excited to continue exploring the unicorn that is b6 thank you everybody and have a wonderful day